Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. Para sa video natin ngayon, ang gagawin natin is we will do simplifying fractions. Pag sinabi natin simplifying fractions, we will create or we will find the lowest term of a fraction. So, paano nga ba nangyayari or kailan ba makoconsider na ang fraction ay simplified or naka lowest term na? Sabi dito, a fraction is in its lowest terms when its numerator and its denominator do not have any common factor aside from 1. In other words, simplified na siya or naka lowest term na siya kapag ang greatest common factor na lang na meron ang ating numerator at denominator ay 1. Okay? So, yung method na gagamitin natin para i-simplify yung fractions na meron tayo ngayon is we will use the greatest common factor. So, kailangan muna natin hanapin yung ating greatest common factor to find the lowest terms of these fractions. In our previous video, diniscuss natin yung F method para hanapin yung GCF. So, let's try and use F method to find the GCF of 3 and 6. So, mag-drawing muna tayo rito. Ang malaking letter F. So, the factors of 3 are 1 times 3. Yung 2 hindi pwede kasi wala na. Ito lang yung factors ng ating 3. So, for the next number, 6, Let's draw another letter F. The factors of 6 are 1 times 6. Okay, that is 6. And then 2 times 3. So we have 6. Hindi na rin pwede na 3 kasi mauulit na siya. So stop na tayo sa 2. So ngayon, compare natin yung factors natin. We have 1 1, parehas sila, 3, and 3. Ibig sabihin, from 1 and 3, ang ating GCF is equal to 3. So ngayon, itong GCF na to, na 3, ito yung gagamitin natin para i-lowest term or simplify ang fractions na, ang fraction na 3 over 6. So paano ba ginagawa yun? Ang gagawin mo lang is you will divide your numerator and denominator by your GCF, which is 3. Okay? Para sa lang i-divide. So, that is 3 divided by 3. That is equal to 1. And for your denominator, 6 divided by 3. That is equal to 2. Ito na yung sagot natin. Okay? So, kung i-examine natin, yung 1 natin, we have 1 times 1. Yung 2 natin, that is 2 times 2 only. At based on those factors, 1 na lang yung kanilang common factor. Ibig sabihin, yung ating 1 half is already in simplified form or in lowest terms. So, natutunan nyo ba? Let's move on to item number 2. Find the GCF of 27 and 33 first. So, we have here a letter F. Ah, balik ko. We have 20... 7 Next is thirty-three. So, ang factors of 27 ay 1 times 27 Yung 2 hindi pwede ha Kasi hindi siya even number Let's try 3 times 9 Pwede Ano ba ba? 6 4, hindi pwede. 5, hindi rin pwede. 7, hindi pwede. 8, hindi pwede. So, 9, pwede. Pero, times 3. Eh, naulit na siya. So, mag-stop na tayo dyan. Okay? Let's move on to number 3. Ah, 33. So, 1 times 33. And then, 2, hindi pwede kasi. 33 is not even. So, let's move on to 3 times 11. Pwede. 4 hindi pwede, 5 hindi pwede. So, I think ito na yung mga factors ng 3. Ano yung common factor or greatest common factor natin? Ang common factors natin ay 1 and 3. So, based on those numbers, 
ang GCF natin is equal to 3. Naulit lang. So, i-divide natin. Nagkataon lang na naulit, ha? Itong numerator and denominator natin by 3. So, kunin natin yung quotient. 27 divided by 3 is 9. 33 divided by 9 is 11. This is the lowest term of 27 divided by, or 27 over 33. So, we have here item number 3. I hope na sa first and second example natin, nakukuha nyo yung technique on how to use GCF in simplifying fractions. So, we have here 24 over 30. Mag-drawing na tayo ng dalawang F. Twenty four. The next number is thirty. So factors are one times twenty four. Siempre two times twelve, three times eight, four times six, five hindi pwede, six. Pwede yan 6, pero mauulit na siya. So, stop na tayo dyan. Then, let's move on to 30. Basically, 1 times 30, we have 2 times 15, 3 times 10, ano ba ba? 4, hindi pwede. Pwede ba 4? No. 5 times 6, 30, and then, 6. So, so, stop na tayo. Ngayon, ang common factors natin ay 0, ay 1, 2, 3, and 6. Pero based on those numbers, your GCF is equal to 6. So, ngayon, to simplify item number 3, i-divide lang natin yung inyong numerator by 6 at yung inyong denominator by 6. And 24 divided by 6, that is equal to 4. And 30 divided by 6, basically that is 5. Ibig sabihin, ito na yung lowest terms ng ating 24 over 30. And that is equal to 4 over 5. So check natin. We have 4 times 1, tapos 2 times 2. Sa 5 naman, we only have 5 times 1. So ang common factor na lang nila ay 1. Ibig sabihin, naka-lowest term na yan. So, ganun lang simple. So, for item number 4, I will allow you viewers to answer or simplify 12 over 36. Ang gagawin nyo lang is you will comment down below yung inyong answer o yung simplified form ng fraction na to. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming salamat.